Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I'm back with this journal to finish it up with ephemera. So we did the pockets the other day. You came along and that was fun. We've got ephemera to do to put in here and I went through, the first thing I always do when I finish the decoration is to count the pockets and tucks and see how many pieces of ephemera I'm going to need. And I'm going to need 29 pieces for this two signature journal. It's, it's going to make it chunky, I'm afraid. The next thing I do once I count the pockets is I go through my vintage ephemera because I, I really love to use vintage ephemera. And so I go through and I pull out different pieces that I think will, will go well in the journal. And I managed to find about, I think I have about 11 pieces here. So that cuts down on the number that I have to make by hand. Sometimes I alter the ephemera, the vintage ephemera, but sometimes I, I don't. And so let's wait and see what we're going to do here and see if anything here needs to be altered. Once I choose the vintage ephemera, then I go through my stash of stuff that I've already done, and sometimes there will be things that match, and, and then I can use those too. I found this little fancy fold, and then I found this altered envelope in my drawer of altered envelopes, and it has the same napkin that I've been using in this journal, so that was lucky. So we've got this um, envelope. So that leaves me about 10 things that I'm going to do. And so I went through my papers and my stuff and decided that we would make these. Um, let's start with this little collage over here. So I kind of got everything ready because that seemed to please everyone last time. <laughs> we had a long video and this may end up being a long video as well, but I'll try to to cut out all of the extraneous stuff. Like Let's just start with this one. So I just have a couple of little scraps. We're just going to start with this little coffee dyed tag. And we'll put the, the tissue on first, I think. We got snow. I think it's like the last of the California atmospheric river. Yeah, let's put that on there next. There's that one. Okay, now let's do this one. So I'll just get that started. And a little piece of Tim Holtz ephemera from my little tray. The greenish colored butterflies. So this I'm going to need to put the glue on the card. We'll do it kind of within that, that square. And this needs some glue. So I want to put all of the, I want to overlap this so that it doesn't rip off later. So we'll just put it about right there and then trim this. Just as I look at that, I like it. I think it's fine, but I think I'll put a little paint splatter on it. There. That just adds, you know, just a little something that I think is really effective. Okay, on to the next one. Let's see, I think. Let's do something with, with this gal. Um, her head is on this side of the line, so I think I want to balance that by putting the doily on this side. About right there. And So 
So I made this um, tag. This bottom tag is um, just a piece of cardboard and you can see a little paint. Yeah, that's because I painted it with acrylic paint and then sanded it off. You know how much I love sanding. And so that created this kind of just this nice background for the tag. Okay, now I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this because it's kind of, you know, that book page that's kind of a little bit glossy. And so I'm gonna make sure that there is glue that will keep it stuck on there. Kind of trying to make a triangle with the design so we have this on this side and this on this side and now um, I think I'll use this bus ticket right there and so that will make the triangle but before I glue that on I do want to I want to just kind of sand a little bit of the edge on that just to kind of rough it up just a little and blend it into the into the background can you see what that did This is a little more worn out, and so it's not gonna scratch as much. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I like that. In fact, I really like that. I think that looks really good. Okay, there's three. This is just a cut off piece of um, scrapbook paper, but the, the designs match. I've used it already in the journal. And so it's going to be a good choice for a piece of ephemera. Let me just distress this. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, um, actually I need to distress this edge also. I know some people don't like to distress, but I think that it, number one, it defines the edge and it looks, it makes it look a little more vintage and, and it, um, it just kind of blends everything. It makes everything look like part of the group. So here I have just this piece of printed paper and I have this little strip off of another piece of paper. And what I have done is um, I've taken just um, a strip of coffee dyed um, thin, thin paper. And then I just, I, I, folded it like accordion so that it would get some texture in it and then I just wadded it up <laughs> and now I have that now I want to put this on the page and I'm hoping to get some texture I don't want to smooth out all of the wrinkles I want to leave some texture so I'm going to put some glue on And then I'm going to put this on and, and hope that I can kind of get some wrinkles in it. It's not long enough to really, um, you know, create a paper ruffle, but I am just going to um, put just a little bit of texture. And then I can put this paper ribbon on top. So when I when I add texture like that, that is going to make it a little more bulky. So I'm 
it's going to contribute to the, the gator mouth that I'm afraid we might end up with, with this journal. Okay, I like that. It's just off center because you know I don't, I'm not a balanced kind of gal. So there we go. Let's put the distress back on those edges. I kind of like that. I think it's cute as a tag. Okay, the next one is this, just this guest check. And I'm kind of getting blue here, so let's turn that around. And all I'm gonna do is put this napkin um, on as a decoupage, and then we'll possibly um, do a little stamping on top. I need a new glue stick. Make sure that all the edges are glued. And then we'll trim this off. Okay, now I need a texture stamp. I think we'll use this crosshatch and some green. And this is not the same color green as this is. This is more of a spring green. And that's good. I want to kind of um, put more than this this minty color green in. Okay, I like that. Now I think that needs a little something. So if you are a fairly experienced junk journaler, you probably have a stash of labels. But if you are a beginner, I will just tell you that labels are a really good thing to collect. And if you can find them vintage, then that's wonderful. Um, I have not Maybe occasionally I run into a vintage label, but most of the time I print them from a digital kit. And there are lots of designers that have that have um, digital labels. And I know that the Graphics Fairy has them. I know I have some from Stacy's Stories. She has a really nice labels um, kit. I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to just put this off to the side and then trim that off. And now I'm going to get my number. I took this from my husband. He has had it on his desk and I love it. Sorry for the camera shaking. There we go. I like that. It's just very old fashioned. And so there's that nice plenty of room to journal on the back. And now we're on to the next one. Just a greeting card. And so I've distressed the back. And all I want to do on this is um, do a little embossing right here. And then I'll sand it a little. And then this one, I also want to emboss and sand. I'm going to do um, this one a little bit differently than this one, but they're both going to be embossed. So let me run them through the embossing machine, and then I'll be back. Okay, let's see how these turned out. there's that one and then there's this one but you can't see it very well can you so I'm gonna start with my soft sandpaper my worn-out sandpaper and I'm just gonna try to take the top off of that I'm just using a really light touch 
because it's actually kind of fragile. I'll glue that onto some coffee dyed paper. Okay, I've got my brand new glue stick. Plenty of glue on there. So, okay, so I've got that resting there. Then I can trim it and then we'll round the corners. And I think we need another little something here. I want to keep that orange of the lilies kind of more forward so I don't I don't want this washi to be the focal point necessarily so I'm not going to use the orange one I'm going to use this just this text let's just put a little bit right here And I do think that we'll just wrap this around to the back. And then let's put a word, some kind of a word strip, a text. Um, let's take it to heart. I like that. I like it. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, and now this one, we'll start with the soft sandpaper. There, that's good. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the edges and put that kind of that scratch along the edge. Yeah, I like it. I always like it when I when I sand these kinds of things. I like the way that turns out. And here on the back, let's put just a little bit of. there to kind of bring that forward yep I like that okay now here's this one again this is just you know a spaced journal and um, this lady I'm gonna have to find the name of the artist I will put it um, as a title we just need to glue this down it doesn't need much I think but sometimes adding just a little detail um, kind of, well, it just shows that, that I'm taking care, you know, with the journal and that the details, I think, are really meaningful. I just do need to get that on straight, though. There we go. Yeah, I like that. See what I mean? It just kind of adds a little extra something and and it makes it so that the, the ephemera is deliberate in the journal. Okay, and the same thing um, with these. I have two just smushed um, index cards. And I just want to put a little detail on it so that it looks deliberate. Okay, so let me pull this off and I'm just going to put this little floral sticker here in the bottom corner and maybe right... Hmm, This next one, all I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to use a stamp. First of all, I think at this little um, bird nest. Okay, 
one. And then I'm just going to glue this trim to the edge. I think I wanted it on this side. Because I need to have some cards that come into the left and some that come into the right. Okay. So this one, what I mean is, this will slide into a pocket from this direction for a left-hand page. And sometimes you need it going into a right-hand page. Okay, so I those are simple, and I like those. So this, I'm just going to make a master board, and I just wanted to show you that you don't have to make a huge master board and cut it down to get a master board. You can just take you know, a tag and, and then make, make a master board on the tag and then, and then trim it off. So let's, let's do that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And if you make it bigger than you need, um, in the beginning, then you can trim it down and the edges will be you know, they'll be good. Now let's put this one on. And I think I will use this. Let's trim it. Okay, here we go. There's the master board. Now let's put, do we want a tag or a card? I know we want to round the bottom and I think mm, I don't know I don't like that maybe that'll go on the next one and I think we'll do a tag like it. I'm just going to leave that one for now. And let's do another one. So this is just, again, a, a paper that has a back on it. So let's just start gluing. Alright, let's just uh, use one of these. Let's just do something up here. This is a little dictionary page and that will be good. board. Okay, and now I'm going to put this doily kind of partway on. Let's do blue, and we'll use my favorite. It's an 
old office stamp. Let's make sure it's gonna... We need something right here, and I'm not sure. Maybe some washi tape? Yeah, let's just use this tape again. That's what it needed. Okay, I like it now. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's gonna be plenty. So I'm just gonna put this back in the drawer. Okay, so I back and cleaned things up a little and I just wanted to show you what we ended up with. So here's what we've made today. Here are the two pieces that I took out of my stash and the little bundle of vintage ephemera. And then we have this tag and this one. We have these two little index cards. This masterboard type tag and this masterboard it's a large journaling card. This little piece of um, book page illustration, a greeting card that was embossed. There's another um, just piece of magazine page um, that I embossed and sanded. A little altered guest check. Here's the little um, ruffled card tag. And it's finally this gentlewoman, <laughs> this vintage gentlewoman tag. So, all right, so now the ephemera's done and I will go and put the ribbons in it and stuff the pockets and then I'll do a flip through. I hope you're anxious to see it. I'm pretty anxious to put it together. Thanks so much for spending time with me. I hope that there is some idea in there that would be useful for your projects. And if you liked the video, would you give me a like? And thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it always. We'll see you again with the flip through.